G'day, this is Annie and welcome to my channel. This is a video about some gold indicators and some pest vegetation in Australia. De Havilland in his Golden Ghost series books, will, you'll notice he often mentions turkey bushes being an indicator for where gold is likely to be found. You will see an old worked area here. And generally what tends to happen is the turkey bush seems to come up over the top of the the old workings, whether it gets a foothold in the soil that's been disturbed when they're working it. But it's like it's no fun detecting in. You need a probably a smaller coil and definitely an elliptical coil. And you also need probably gaiters or something because it's got prickles on it. Very uncomfortable for detecting, you can see the prickles there and there. And when it grows, it grows out in strands like, say, this one here. It grows out from the base, then it comes over and it starts to hit the ground. And when it hits the ground, it then sometimes takes root. So what you have is like this effect of a, an arch anchored the other end and when you put the coil in it and go to lift it up you're just forever getting tangled in all the, the branches of it so I must admit if I see an area where somebody's really worked a um, in amongst the turkey bush, I can only assume that they've found reasonable pieces because it's a hell of a job to, to detect in and it's the sort of thing that if you're going to have a go do first thing in the morning when you're fresh give it a couple of hours and then give it away because it would bloody break you no fun at all in my opinion I've come across another one of those emu berry bush bushes again it's a bit straggly but these look like old fruit on them but god they're tiny compared to the photos that i've seen online so to give you an idea that's my hand or finger and arm they're tiny there's um Roots of them here. Yeah, so they said they, the Aboriginal people used to use them to teat, treat dysentery. Can't say I've ever tried them. I'm out in the bush here. Again, <laughs> still. Not far from where I hung that cactus up, that prickly pear up. Still plodding around. Come across a little bit of turkey bush here. I thought I'll poke around underneath it. Now I happen to see, you know, I think I've showed these turkey bushes before, but you see the big thorns on them. Anyway, I'm poking under there and I thought, what's that? And look, snake skin. You know, I haven't seen a snake out here. A live one, that is. And, uh, I'll just pull this out. But you can see, it's peeled right off. It's quite soft to touch. Very flaky, sort of. Possibly a brown. Not sure, but snakes aren't my favourite thing, so I'll keep a looky out. But yeah, not fun, hey? Yeah, the kookaburra is in the background. Also, another thing you come across, at least here on the east coast of Australia is prickly pear 
Now, it's a noxious weed and it spreads. And they used to have infestations in Australia and I'll try and put up an old shot that I had of um, some out west of Queensland that they had. Must be a snake over there, they're all having a cackle. Well, they're laughing at me. Here's a few historical photos that give you an idea of the extent of the infestation when it got out of hand in the east coast of Australia. Anyway, I'll show you this prickly pear. So, I usually pull them out. You can see the spikes in that one. The way I pull them out. Give them a good old push over. And then down the bottom here, I've got a shallow but often long root system. The thing is, if you pull them out and leave them on the ground like that, where that leaf up there touches the soil, it will grow roots and grow from there. So the trick with them is to get them up off the ground. Oh, I tend to Use the root system to wrap it around the tree. Just let it hang up. See here, there's a little baby one. Do the same bit. Watch those little prickles don't stick into you, even if you've got gloves on. God, you'd be forever picking them out stick into your skin and kind of take ages to, to heal. Anyway, that's prickly pear. Some nationalities actually like the, the fruit. It gets sort of like a red fruit on it. And I'm told it's very sweet. But in Australia, it's just the biggest pest and it was imported by the British when they first came out here. They lacked dye to make the red coats. And the fruit on this has cochineal in it. The red in the cochineal was used to dye the, the British red coats. Anyway, another pest in Australia. Just on that prickly pear thing, government released a, a moth and you can see some evidence that this moth it lives in the cactus and then I don't know somehow it kills it so there's one that looks like it's dying from whatever this moth has managed to do doing a bloody good job anyway Okay viewers, that's it. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel.